Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all-new Ghost Max. It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected, like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. Inspired by the life of the savvy and ambitious Colombian businesswoman Griselda Blanco comes a new Netflix original limited series. Griselda tells the story of a devoted mother who, with her lethal blend of charm and relentless savagery, creates one of the most powerful cartels in history. Witness Sofia Vergara's captivating transformation into the godmother of the underworld. Griselda, streaming January 25th, only on Netflix. That showbiz, baby. I'm Jason Horton. I'm Rebecca Lieb. And this is Ghost Town. At the turn of the century, Coney Island was a place for fun. You might hang out at the beach, eat ice cream, ride some amusement park rides, and see a sideshow. Oddly enough, that sideshow might resemble something close to a fully functional neonatal intensive care unit, complete with makeshift incubators filled with sleeping, premature babies. We've talked about a lot of strange baby trends over the years on Ghost Town, including baby cages, or most recently, the Target Sperminator. But today, we're talking about the bizarre and entertaining origin story of the baby incubator, from Coney Island Sideshow to a hospital near you. Turn of the century, hospitals were very ill-equipped to care for premature babies, and mostly it was a death sentence if your baby was born early or underweight. Caring for premature babies was expensive and many thought pointless. Incubators were so new and unusual that few doctors believed in its life-saving potential. Developed by Stéphane Tarnier, a French obstetrician who had seen them being used at a zoo, Tarnier adapted an animal incubator he'd seen used on baby chicks for little baby humans. But the idea seemed insane in America, until Martin County, a German doctor, though different sources say he wasn't a doctor, which is not looking good for his doctorhood, Uh, Anyway, he thought it was a genius and brought it over to America. But first, Cowney got himself some incubators in Berlin. At the 1896 World's Fair, Cowney saw a display of several premature babies presented by a man named Pierre Boudin, a French physician who was conducting research on incubator technology. Picking up the baton where Tarnier had left off, some sources say Cowney worked under Boudin, others don't. Anyhow, in 1896, he had come to the World's Fair with a bunch of incubators and a bunch of premature babies that he had acquired on loan from a Berlin hospital. Cowney immediately realized that the unusual exhibit would save babies' lives, and that the public would pay to see babies in incubators. The sight was so unusual that people crowded into the display, paying money while Boudin explained it all. From there, Cowney grabbed some incubators of his own and traveled to expositions, including an event in London in 1897 and the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo in 1901. 1903, he came to the U.S. of A. with little baby incubators and set up shop not in a medical facility, but in a summertime sideshow, which would continue until the early 1940s. The show was literally just a bunch of preemies in incubators, with Cowney talking about the machines themselves and how they work in my experience, maybe a a county fair, but with small children fighting for their lives. The show would set up shop in Luna Park on the beach every summer at Coney Island. Outside, a sign proclaimed, all the world loves a baby, and barkers yelled, don't pass the babies by, and people loved it. Let's take a break. Angie is your home for everything home, and they've made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start. But now, all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise that you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app Answer a few questions, and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish. Or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly. Which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few steps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your own home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today, or visit Angie.com. 
That's A-N-G-I dot com. Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all-new Ghost Max. It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected, like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. A woman named Lucille Horn remembers her parents telling her that they took her to Martin County in 1920. The doctors who birthed her gave her a bad prognosis. She was just two pounds, and her twin had died at birth. Quote, They didn't have any help for me at all. It was just, you die because you didn't belong in the world, she later recalled. So her father took her to the only place he thought might be able to help, County at Coney Island. The Brooklyn Daily Eagle described County's setup as, quote, seriousness and value of the system shown. A visit to County's showcase revealed rows of warmed, glass-fronted incubators supplied with filtered air containing, quote, little pitiful pinched-looking waifs. The only thing that indicate that they are alive are the healthy color of their little faces and the faint flutterings of movement, which are perceptible on closer inspection. I also want to emphasize that County was, again, we're not sure if he was a doctor at all. He was definitely a businessman, though, and an entertainer, though he did have nurses to help during the show. County reportedly would dress up the infants as they grew and put them in adorable outfits, oversized or not, and his nurses were known to slip a ring around the entire wrist of a preemie baby, showing just how teeny tiny these babies actually were. Speaking to The New Yorker in 1939, County explained, quote, All my life I've been making propaganda for the proper care of preemies, who in other times were allowed to die. Everything I do is strictly ethical. I mean, yes, yes, but again, you're a sideshow guy in Coney Island. We'll let it slide for now. Still, I have to give him credit. By one estimate, County saved the lives of 6,500 infants, to say the least. But by the early 1940s, interest in County's exhibition had waned, and hospitals were actually starting to really study premature birth, even opening wards to care for premature babies. Can you imagine? <laughs> County died in 1950 at age 80. At the time of his death, he was reportedly broke, but he was memorialized in the New York Times as, quote, the incubator doctor, which I think is fairly flattering. In 2015, two years before she died at the ripe old age of 96, one preemie Lucille Horn was asked by her daughter as part of NPR's StoryCorps program about being on display as a tiny infant. It's strange, she said, but as long as they saw me and I was alive, it was all right. Looking back on anything to do with circuses or sideshows, mm -hmm. in my opinion, I think a lot of people's opinion, maybe not everybody's, people don't look back on it too fondly. No, no, absolutely I not. I remember going to, in the 80s, in New York, I mean, you know, I've been to Coney Island, but there was no sideshows technically, it was just weird oddities sometimes, but I remember going to Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey Circus in New York City. Maybe they had it at Madison Square Garden, I don't know, but it was a pretty, pretty huge deal, mm -hmm. and looking back back at it, I was like, did, I did never really like love circuses even, but I, I it wasn't like an ethical thing. Obviously, mm -hmm. I was 10 years old, but I was just like, I don't really love this. Something yeah. just feels off about it, or I just don't like it. And not to say there's not a lot of talented people and hardworking people, but it's, it's, it's exploitive. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's exploitative and uncomfortable because we are celebrating outliers and oddities in the experience of the people watching and in, in the context of that historical place and time. But I thought this was really interesting because, yeah, you think about bad things. You think about violence. You think about manipulation. You think about abuse coming out of circuses and sideshows and taking people who don't have a good lot in life and, and putting them on display and how like horrific that really is and how ex that experience is really embarrassing for us as a country now and traumatizing to nearly everyone involved. So it's interesting to think of something in that context actually being helpful. All right, so we're one in one. <laughs> Angie's List is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco-move. Fewer words, less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is. And it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. 
Angie is your home for everything home, and they've made it easier than ever to connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. If you own a home, you know how much work it can take, whether it's everyday maintenance and repairs or making dream projects a reality. It can be hard just to know where to start. But now, all you need to do is Angie that and find a skilled local pro who will deliver the quality and expertise that you need. Angie has over 20 years of home service experience and they've combined it with new tools to simplify the whole process. Bring them your project online or with the Angie app. Answer a few questions and Angie can handle the rest from start to finish or help you compare quotes from multiple pros and connect instantly which means you can take care of just about any home project in just a few steps. Because when it comes to getting the most out of your own home, you can do this when you Angie that. Download the free Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot